There's an, a very old way you can do it before we had technology. With two bottles. Here is our next project. Let's do it this way. Trying to get it so there's air in the neck of the bottle about two inches up from the edge of the bottle and no air. See? Right around there, actually. There you go. So now we're gonna. Okay. The goal is to have the water cover just a few inches of the neck, as best as we can, right? To the point where the level in the the level in the neck is equal to the level in the jar. Ha! I got it. Yay! Look at how the water, the water level, the jar is equal to the water level in the neck of the bottle. Now, what do you think would happen? If we increase the air pressure of this room. What do you think would happen to the water? As the air pressure goes up, the pressure is going to displace the water. Let's test it. The heat gun. Dad, are we going to melt the glass? We're not going to melt the glass. It'll get hot, but we're not going to melt the glass. Look at the water changing. Oh, it's going down. Why? <laughs> Why did the water go down? As air is heated, it does what? When it's excited, i.e. heat, oh, it, it, it expands. If you like what you see so far, go ahead and hit the like button down below and let us know you're enjoying all this science stuff. Now, back to the video. Okay, so you want to make it noticeably red. Now we'll do the whole bottle thing. What's our intent when we're doing this? To make the line of the water in the jar as the neck. All right, so we'll take this and there, we got it. But we have it set where the water line matches the neckline, or close enough to count. So now what we're gonna do is leave it. We're gonna leave it. This beautiful science experiment has homework. Yeah. Homework. Here's going to be the homework assignment. Today is Thursday, so we're going to do this until next Thursday. How many days is that, Sam? Thursday. Seven days. Seven that, days. That one days. Exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a shelf. Okay. Put it up here. Look. Holy crap. Check it out. It already went up. It already went up, and all I did was lift it above my head. We're gonna leave it just right there, and we're gonna track it every day. Every day, whether or not it goes up or down, you're gonna record up or down, and you're gonna record the temperature of the room. All right, so that's that. And then we're gonna come back and check this thing as the seven days progress. That's us building a storm glass barometer. DIY style with a few jars. Again, if you like what you see, hit the like button down below. Come back next week to see the results of all of the kids taking their measurements as the liquid goes up and down. Thanks for watching.